Hello and welcome back to X-Plane 11. Once again, I'm recording while my roommates are trying to get some sleep, so... Shout out to my roommates from Batch 4.3 and Batch 4.7. You guys are the best, and uh, hopefully I'm not waking you guys up by making this video. And hopefully it uh, proves useful, you know, when... Uh, reviewing for RNAV procedures. So in this case we're gonna do a parallel entry into standard holding. In this case we're inbound radial 060 and let's say we're being asked to hold on radio 210. So at 2 DME I'm going to twist our course tail to 210. So let's bring that up here. Two one zero. There we go. Let's try and maintain altitude as best we can. All right, now to one DME, I'm going to twist our heading bug to two one zero, which is our entry heading, as per parallel entry procedure. So here's one DME. Twist the heading bar go to two one zero. Okay, closing in now on the VOR. Over the VOR, our RMI is going to flip, and the flag of our HSI is going to flip. Once the reading stabilized, I will turn left to heading two one zero. Upon the heading, I'll start a timer for one minute. Alright, there's the flip. I'll let the reading stabilize for a moment. Okay, and now I will turn. Turn turning. Timer standby, twist ready, twisted, throttle containing 5,500, and talk, nothing to say. Here we are, 210, let's start the timer. So, we'll stay on heading 210 for one minute. 50 seconds. I'll twist the heading bug over to the left heading 030, which is our inbound leg. And at 60 seconds, I'll make a left turn. Now, in a parallel entry, it's important to note that while making that turn, it's very likely that you're going to overshoot the radio you're targeting. That's normal. That's just how a parallel entry goes sometimes. If you do, just make a correction in a timely manner, you don't want to be chasing the radio for too long because you're not very far from the VOR so in this case we're at 50 seconds so let's twist our heading bug over to the left heading 030, there we go there's one minute, let's turn left heading 030 now, so turn, turning Timer reset. Twist ready, twisted, throttle maintaining 5500, and talk nothing to say. As you can see, our HSI is already alive, and it's already telling us that we are overshooting the radial we're targeting. That's normal. We're just going to apply a correction, and hopefully, we can come back onto the radio as soon as possible. So, let's maintain our standard rate of turn, no need to rush, at least not too much. Okay, we continue the turn. So, I might apply maybe a 60 degree correction, just to get us back on track quickly. Maybe we can target zero. Or 330 that is. Let's try and watch our airspeed while we do this. There we go. Let's hold this heading for now. And we'll try to hold our altitude as best we can. Okay. 
Oh, there's the beetle. It's already alive. I'm going to have to make a large correction for this. Or a large turn, that is. But there it is. That's about centered here. So normally that turn should have been standard rate and been taken a bit sooner. But at least we are on our inbound leg for now. Let's get the needle nice and centered if we can. There we go. Now, one DME before, I'm going to twist the heading bug over to our outbound leg. Two, one, zero. Over the VOR, I'm going to turn to the right. So our needle might be deflecting, but we're very close to the VOR, so I'm just going to maintain my heading. Just maintain. There's the flip. There's the flag. Let's let it stabilize for a few moments. Alright, that's stabilized. Let's turn. Turn, turning. Timer standby. Twist ready, twisted. Throttle maintaining 5,000 to 500. Talk, nothing to say. So now we're going to continue on this turn. On the heading, I'll start a timer for one minute. So if you watched the previous video where we did a teardrop entry into a standard holding, this part of the procedure may seem already quite familiar. This is basically the holding pattern. Alright, let's see if we can arrive at the same time, ideally. Alright, looks like our heading got here first, so that's fine. We will just maintain our heading. Once the HSI flag flips, we'll start the timer. A good indication as well is the RMI, as it dips below the 90 degree point. And there's the flip, timer starts. Okay, we'll time that for one minute. At 50 seconds, I'm going to turn the heading bug over to the right, heading 030. And at 60 seconds, I will turn heading 030. So once again, this is the holding pattern, which might seem familiar if you've seen the previous video. The holding pattern is basically the same. One minute leg or one minute legs per with one minute to half minute turns. So we're just gonna try and maintain our altitude and airspeed as much as possible. And here comes 50 seconds. Let's turn our heading bug over to the right. Heading 030. Getting ready to turn now. Here's one minute, let's turn, so turn, turning, let's get it to standard rate, timer standby, twist ready, twist it, throttle maintaining 5,500, and talk, nothing to say, so we're just going to continue our turn here, try to maintain our altitude and our airspeed, See if we can arrive at the same time if I maintain a standard rate all throughout. Let's see if that's possible. So far, so good. Will we arrive at the same time? Well, maybe a slight overshoot, so we'll apply a small correction off to the right. Okay, that's uh, just about centered. Okay, and if we take a look at the map, what we will find is we have created 
a parallel entry into a standard holding pattern. So uh, I hope this uh, hope this proves useful to anybody studying R now. If it was, consider giving a like and subscribe because I hope to record more of these short scenario videos in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, if you're from Batch 4.3 or Batch 4.7, you guys are solid. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are uh, flying well, especially since uh, you know uh, I'm recording this video at night and hopefully I'm not waking you guys up. Thank you very much for watching.